The reason you want to watch this video is because my previous videos on mucus clearance have been watched over 2 million times. I've taken the top bits of advice from those videos and put them into this video for you. Firstly, stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of fluids keeps mucus thin and easier to shift. Our airways use tiny hair-like cilia to move mucus up and out via a process called the mucociliary escalator. And hydration keeps this escalator running smoothly. Avoid smoking and vaping as they contain chemicals that can irritate your airways and paralyze the cilia, stopping the mucus from going back up the escalator, causing it to become stuck. Aim to breathe clean air to keep your lungs functioning at their best. Humidified air or sea air are the best options, but if you're struggling to find clean air, then you may want to look at an air purifier. Take a note of your mucus color. Green or yellow could mean an infection, while orange, brown or dark red will need further medical evaluation. A doctor may ask you about your mucus color, so make a note of it and consider taking a photograph for reference. Now let's try the active cycle of breathing technique, a simple three-phase process for helping you to clear mucus. Take five relaxed breaths in through your nose and out through pursed lips. Next, place your hands around your lower ribs and take three slow, deep breaths, feeling your ribs expand as you breathe in. After this, use the huff-cough technique. Take a breath in and then exhale forcefully creating a huffing sound. You can also try taking a half breath in, followed by a long huff out. Breathing out for as long as you can. If you take too many deep breaths or do too many huffs, then you may find yourself feeling dizzy from over breathing. So stop the technique before or if this occurs. Now let us know in the comments if this huff cough technique worked well for you. If you have guidance from a medical professional, you can also try percussion. Place a towel over the chest and gently tap to shake and loosen the mucus, working from the lower to upper chest. This is especially effective if you do a huff cough afterwards. A mucus clearance device like the Air Physio can also be helpful. Simply breathe out into the device to create a vibration that loosens mucus. Be sure to use it at the right speed and the right angle as demonstrated here. You may also wish to try a saline gargle to thin the mucus. For this, you'll need a cup of clean warm water with a teaspoon of salt mixed in and dissolved. Use a mouthful of this homemade saline solution and gargle for a few seconds before spitting it out. You may wish to try a nasal rinse using this saline solution. The simplest way to do it is to pour a little bit into your hand, block one nostril and then snort up the saline solution through the other nostril before then blowing your nose. So make sure you have some tissues to hand. Some of the solution may go into the back of your throat, although this doesn't feel very nice, it's not at all harmful. A better and more professional way of doing the nasal rinse is to purchase an inexpensive nasal rinse product, such as the one showing on the screen here. Using hot water to create steam is a cheap and effective way of creating a home nebulizer to take advantage of breathing in humidified air. This can be enhanced with a towel over your head to trap the steam. And also some essential oils such as eucalyptus oil or menthol may also enhance the experience. Be careful with hot water and make sure you perform this technique in a quiet and safe space. Now we've reached the end of this video, I'd like to give you a call to action. Please share this video with anybody who you know who may find it helpful. One more thing before we go, here is a list of the common food triggers that are known to cause excess mucus production for some people.